the deepest, darkest part of the night is what comes right before the start of the light. And only by being plunged into struggle and strife can a human being ascend to the highest of heights. The 10th year was a very difficult year for the Prophet It was called the year of sorrow, a year in which he lost his beloved wife Khadija. She was the Prophet's first wife, and she believed in him before he even believed in himself. The Prophet has been through so much at this point. He has lost his beloved wife, and he also lost his uncle, who he loved very dearly, Abu Talib. Now the aged tribal leader had passed. At last your enemies see opportunity flash. After three years of living under siege and sanctions in Mecca, the Prophet had his eyes on the next city, which is the city of Taif, on the top of the hill. So he goes there and he calls for a meeting with the leaders of at -Taif. And he was met, unfortunately, with a less than favorable response. The kids carried stones and they started stoning the Prophet. Bloody, bruised, disheartened. He has nowhere to go. This would have broken most people. It would have broken their spirits. At that point, the Prophet then turns in prayer to God. He says, in lam yakum bika alayya ghadabun fala ubali that if you are not displeased with me then i don't mind hada tawajjuh al-qalbi minhu sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam ihtazzat lahu as-samawat this lowest point amazingly becomes the turning point وَلَقَدْ جَاءَتْ آيَةً كُبْرًا حَدَثٌ سَمَاوِيٌّ وَتَفَضُّلٌ رَبَّانِيٌّ أَسْرَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى بِنَبِيِّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ مِنَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ إِلَى الْمَسْجِدِ الْأَقْصَى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان Jesus is there, Moses is there, Abraham is there, Noah is there, all of the great prophets are there. God crowns the prophet as Imam, the leader of all the prophets and all the messengers of all time. Al-Iman yasma'un mu'jizat. In the holy city of Jerusalem, heaven and earth are the closest. And from here he will go to the summit of the universe. Allah takes the Prophet up to the heavens, to a place where no other human being has ever been. 
imagine the waves, the, the feelings, the, the emotions, the soul, what he felt. This is the essence of Islam, and this is the culmination of prophetic history. Until the furthest low tree and the two bows distance, you beheld what no eye was ever to witness. Above seven heavens became in the presence of God. But the greatest miracle that was to happen that night is that you returned from his presence to bring us the light. I'm standing in Jerusalem at the Dome of the Rock, the place where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made his ascension over 1400 years ago. To be able to pray in the place where sujood was ordained for Muslims and believers is, is very powerful. The Prophet once remarked that the mi'raj, the ascension of the believer, is the salat. Meaning if you want to ascend through the heavens the way the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did, then you ascend through that prayer. Allah puts Muslims in the position of great difficulty and then uses that as an occasion for them to rise. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes something from us that we love, He gives back something so much greater. Prophet Sallallahu teaches us we can never count anyone out. No one is beyond the mercy of God. If we learn to emulate the Prophet, peace be upon him, to turn our troubles into opportunities, then we would totally transform. <laughs> إنه قد ملأ أفئدتنا كلما نقرأ سيرته كلما نرى مثال الإنسان الكامل حبيب الله شفيع الله نبي الله Learn about how the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him responded to the trials and tribulations of life with patience, with dignity with turning to God, with upholding the most beautiful of conduct and character. We have another group joining us live on webcam. Assalamu alaikum from Sarayabo. We are in the courtyard of Blue Mosque. As you saw, mashallah, we have over a hundred people. This is uh, Timbuktu Books in Cape Town, South Africa. Assalamu alaikum from Dubai. Assalamu alaikum from Copenhagen, Denmark. Wow, look at this huge group in Egypt. Assalamu alaikum, all the way from Hong Kong. We are from sunny Sydney, Australia, the greatest city in the world. Assalamu alaikum wa this is Faraz Rabani. I'm Yasmin Mujahid. I am Imam Ala Eddin Al Bakri. This is Imam Zayd Shakir. This is your brother Omar Sulaiman. My name is Barak Blue. This is Yahya Rodis. This is your brother Hussein Kamani. My name is Nomal Ali Khan. My name is Raif. This is Osama Khan. This is your brother Imam Tahir Anwar. And this is Hassan Al Ashab. This is Nadir Khan. This is Hala Banani. My name is Afros Ali. Ali. Rahman Al My name is Azhar Usman. My name is Talia Magahid. This is Walid Musad. Ali Juma. Mufti Diyari Masri. My name is Omar Farooq Abdullah. This is Abdul Nasser Jangdad. Usama Sayyid Al Azhari. I'm Taiba Taylor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's your brother Abdul Murphy. This webcast is about transformation through tribulation, how the Prophet, peace be upon him, responded, and how we can respond to those tribulations to cause a beautiful transformation in our own lives. I'll see you guys, inshallah, on the webcasts. Please register at celebratemercy.com. Register as an individual, register as a family, register as a group, and learn more about the life and the character of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Please watch and support the Celebrate Mercy Project. It's a very good project.